We tested chemical drain cleaners and were really shocked by the results. But today, we're trying something different. We thought, I wonder what the acidity in a Coke will do on your plumbing pipes. Now, this is funny because I don't even put Coke in my whiskey. Well, I'm a Pepsi guy. If you've never tried it, twice as much Pepsi as bourbon and half as many limes as ounces of bourbon. Now that's a great recipe. Don't tell anybody where you got that. Matter of fact, don't tell anybody. That's kind of a family secret. We're gonna pour Coke on cast iron, steel, chrome plated brass, copper, galvanized, ABS, PVC, schedule 10 PVC, rubber, and of course the flexible drain hose off your dishwasher, which if you pour this down in your garbage disposal, it could end up in there too. We're gonna come back and check them in about 60 days. Uh, somebody write that date down, please. I'm interested in seeing how this turns out and what happens. So we're gonna start down here with the cast iron. And I'm really just gonna pour enough Coke in it to cover it up. Why do we do stuff like this? A lot of y'all thought drain cleaners wouldn't bother it at all, and some of them actually did. And a lot of y'all had questions about the glue joints. Well, if you notice on the PVC and the ABS, we have glued caps, almost went over. We had glued caps on both of these to see how it affects the glue joint too. All right, now I would say, if anybody's got any whiskey, we got some Coke left, but I, I don't do that. All right, I'm gonna sit here and watch it for 60 days. I'll see y'all in a minute. One very long digestive tract later. Here we are back at it. And, and I gotta tell you, just from looking at some of these, man, the, these, these lids are a little swollen. Kind of wild, but I gotta tell you by looking at some of it to it, it looks like it's really done some stuff to the pipe. So let's start off with our PVC and I'm gonna grab some gloves and safety glasses. Uh, we're gonna open up, ooh, still had a little pressure to it. and it doesn't look like it did anything at all. Yeah, I'm trying to just clean it up here and dry it off. It may have softened up the primer just a little bit where I can rub it. But to be honest, I don't even know if that's what did that. Um, it does not look like it really did anything at all to the PVC. Now, this one here looks funky. I gotta tell you, I mean, look, look, man, this is black iron pop, steel pop. I don't know what it did to it. It doesn't look like it, it softened it. It doesn't look like it, it did anything bad. It's, it almost looks like there's rust or something down in the threads, but that, that wouldn't make a lot of sense, at least to me. All right, so. Tell you what, I'm gonna reach in here in the magic drawer. Yeah, it didn't damage it. Just makes it look kind of funky, but yeah, I think this could be cleaned up and be just fine. But it sure did pull a lot of color or something out of the coat, because it's like you can almost see through it a little bit now. Now this is your, Dishwasher drain hose, still got a little pressure in it. And I don't think I really expected it to do anything to it, and it doesn't look like it has. I see no problem at all there. Now, this is the black rubber hose. Some may still have a little pressure on them, which is kind of interesting. Doesn't feel super soft, anything like that, so really no damage to the hose. All right, next we got Schedule 10. We got the thin wall PVC. No problems here. Good stuff. Right, so far we're figuring out there's not a lot of damage. We don't expect there to be any to the ABS here. No, no problem to the cement here. 
now we got the chrome plated brass. Now this is the kind of pipe that would be under your kitchen sink, under your lavatory sink, maybe your P-trap, the arm to it, something like that. Okay, now this is the only one that I, I really see it doing anything is the chrome plating is really wearing out coming off in certain places. You know, if you look at the other one compared to this one, you can see it taking some of the chrome plating off. Our copper is another one I really don't expect a lot from it. But, man, if you want to clean copper, man, that may be some of the cleanest copper I've seen in a long time. You know, it's funny, it is on the outside, but it doesn't look it on the inside. And I don't know if I can get in there and clean it. Let's see if that's just residue or buildup or something like that in there. Yeah, it, I mean, it, don't get me wrong, it looks clean on the inside. And you can definitely tell, looking down inside here, where it was setting down in the coke and where it wasn't. So that's pretty interesting. Now, iron, this is cast iron. Guys, this is what most people's houses are underneath. I don't know what it is, but man, we got floaters. Look, that's kind of funky, funky stuff up on top. And inside, I think the flushable wipes, you know, definitely dissolve. No, I don't think that's what it is. Now, it doesn't look like it damaged it at all. And I say that and I look inside and I see all this buildup and I'm wondering if that's the, the coating on the inside of the cast iron pipe, if that acid in the coke is eating through that. Really, to be honest, it, it doesn't look too terribly bad. But this is one thing where I talk about cast iron pipes and the texture on the inside of the pipe. If you flush a baby wipe through here, that's what it's gonna get caught up on and that's what's gonna, gonna cause it to clog up the system. Okay, now, here we've got galvanized. Ooh, and that one had a ton of pressure in it. Yeah, and I don't really see that there's any damage to it at all. Again, the inside of the pipe looks kind of rough. but you wipe it out, it doesn't look too bad. So even though Coke will eat away a tooth in a cup in a short period of time, plumbing system seems to hold up to it pretty well. I don't see anything that's really major or crazy. Uh, it did make the steel nipple look pretty rough. Galvanized when it kind of cleaned up and the copper Man, it cleaned off all oxidation on there and actually made it look pretty good. So, is Coke bad for your plumbing? Well, doesn't look like it. Uh, from what I saw here, I don't see anything that really damaged it. The only problem I see here is on the chrome on the outside, and chances are you're not gonna be pouring Coca-Cola on the outside of your pipes. So, I don't think Coca-Cola is that big a problem for your plumbing system, but, it definitely is for your teeth. If you love this video, well, I really think you can like one of these. So what'd y'all think? That turned out pretty good?